And launching on April 5th, we have some expansions for Maglev Metro. And this plays one to four players and takes about 60 to 90 minutes to play. And these are going to be three different expansions, and each of them are going to introduce two new maps into the game. But you'll also be able to get the core game in the campaign as well. And the way that this game plays is that this is a type of train game, but it's not your traditional train game where you're buying stocks and moving resources around the board. Instead, this one is more of a pickup and deliver as you're building a metro system. And this one actually takes place in the future, so your passengers aren't aren't only humans, but they're also robots trying to get to their various destinations. And the way that this game plays is pretty simple. Players are going to be alternating turns, taking just two actions on their turns. And these actions can be things like placing tracks, building stations, or delivering passengers to different locations out on the board. And the really neat thing here about delivering the different passengers is that each delivered passenger actually goes onto your own player board. And there's going to be a few different areas on your board for different actions and abilities and scoring opportunities. And whenever you're putting these passengers onto your board, you'll be upgrading each of those. And these can also modify some different aspects of your trains like their overall capacity, how many people they can pick up at a single time or drop off, or also enable the train to go in reverse direction. But your overall goals might change later in the game so there is also a space on the board that allows you to rearrange the different passengers in order to alter your overall upgrades and that's something you'll want to time appropriately to get the most out of your actions with your changing needs. And another really neat aspect of this game is that when you're placing your tracks out on the board, you can actually put tracks across other tracks. And the way you do that is simply by putting the tile on top of another tile that's already played. But the reason this works so well is because this game actually uses clear acrylic tiles with the tracks printed on them. So you can actually see the tracks underneath the other tracks and it really creates a nice aesthetic for all the players. And players will be scoring points from a few different sources at the end of the game. First, they're going to be getting points for the passengers that they're able to get on their own personal player board. But then players will also get points for the different track tiles that they're able to put out on the board. And then players will also be able to fulfill different objective cards. And if you're able to fulfill those, then you'll also get points from those. And finally, if you upgraded certain scoring objective abilities on your own personal player board, then you'll also get bonus victory points for fulfilling any of those. And the three new expansions are each going to come with two maps and these are going to introduce some new map specific rules, new technologies, and new landscapes and challenges for players to face. And the different expansions are called Moon Bases and Mars where players will be able to go into outer space. And then we have mechs and monorails, which is going to introduce two new recessed maps, which is also going to have oversized mech pieces, VIP passengers, and special mech hubs. And then finally we have London and Paris, and the London map is going to introduce different districts that players will have to unlock. And then the Paris map will introduce picket lines and strikes as players try to avoid a little unrest and keep the trains moving. And since this is a game that has already been released, there's a ton of content out there for you to see if this game is one that you're interested in. And if you are interested in it, you can check out more as I have the link in the description below.